Shalom, hi. Um, I never really thought it would be a day where I'd be actually doing a YouTube clip. Um, I'm doing a YouTube clip on the word contentment um, from what the scripture says basically about how we should be content in our lives. I'm going to read from, you know, precepts on the Holy Bible. Because um, I know a lot of people, including myself, we do find it hard sometimes to be content for what we've got and to be thankful to what we what what we receive and what we have and what positions we are in and stuff like that. I mean, even though times are hard and stuff, but you know, we still need to be thankful and be content, especially that when we wake up in the morning that we should give thanks to the most high in Christ for waking us up every morning, for giving us life, you know, for for us to still be here, you know, I mean you're if you if the Most High in Christ wakes you up every morning, gives you life, you know, there's a reason and, you know, we should be thankful for that because it doesn't matter if you have a big house or whatever, I mean, without health and, you know, basically or being woken up every morning, then that's going to mean nothing. So, you know, it's just to be thankful, especially if you do have somewhere to sleep, you know, if you do have some sort of base over your head, whether it's a small or you've got your family cramped up in one house, but if you've got a place to sleep, you should be thankful and content that you've got a roof and a base over your head, and, you know, even if you have a little bit of money to at least buy yourself some food, you should be thankful for that because, you know, we definitely need to be in the, in the spirit of things, definitely, because... You know, when things to come and things get more worse. So, you know, we definitely, I mean, throughout this walk, throughout my journey, you know, Christ has definitely been my strength through a lot of things. I mean, but one thing sometimes I always have to remember is to be content and read on those presets about, you know, being thankful and being content, you know, of what you got and not complain. Because like it says in the scriptures, you know, all that complaining, that's what, the Gentiles do is is complain, you know, we shouldn't be complaining because we we should know, you know, what, you know, what kind of our journey and how our journey is going to kind of go in a certain way. Obviously, we don't know what the, you know, completely in details of our journey is going to go, but obviously, like it says in Galatians, one of the fruits of the spirits, you know, obviously with joy, meekness and all that, one of it is long-suffering. So we just need to endure to the end and everything. But that's another topic. Anyway, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna read from obviously precepts from the Holy Bible, King James. King James um is the best version Bibles to get, so definitely you should get yourself a King James. And I've got the original King James, I've got the 1611 King James, and the reason why I've got this one, 1611, because it's got the Apocrypha. Yes, the Apocrypha is part of the Bible and it should always have been in the Bible. Um, you know, there's a long story with, obviously, somewhere in the 1900s they ripped out the Apocrypha. But the Apocrypha was always part of the Bible and it's very inspiring. You know, it it makes sense for it to be there and everything. So, um, if you can't get yourself a 1611... King James with Apocrypha, you can get also, you could just buy the Apocrypha separately on Amazon for a very cheap price. Um, and you can look up on the internet about, you know, why the Apocrypha is important, why they they literally ripped out the Apocrypha of the Bibles. Now, now, to, now today, as you don't see, you know, the Apocrypha in the Bible. Anyway, so back to contentment. Okay, first... Go to Hebrews, um, chapter 13, verse 5. It says, Let your conversations be without um, covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So we should not complain on the things we don't have, and we should not complain on the things that we want and desire. We should be thankful for the things we have. Because in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20, it says, Giving thanks always for all things unto the Most High and the Father in the name of our Lord, Yeshua Christ. 
and I use the word Yeshaya instead of Jesus because Jesus' real name, Hebrew name, is Yeshaya, and that's another topic. And I'm not, you know, the topic to go into what you know Christ's real name is, and it's Yeshaya. Yeshaya in Hebrew means my savior. So. Because the Most High knows what we need before we ask Him. So obviously we should always give thanks unto the Most High in the name of Christ. Because the Most High knows what we need before we ask Him. So 